Hey, Jimmy Agi here from jimscoffeeadventures.com. I was recently doing some research for an account, and we've been developing a lot of new strategies for uh, creating relevance and, and getting more out of our Google pay-per-click ads and our Yahoo pay-per-click ads, and how effective they are and how much of the market we can capture. One of the things that I've been doing is whenever I want to bid on a key term, I would go to Google and Yahoo and run the search for that key term. Once I've decided that it's a, a key term that seems to be worth investigating and putting a little bit more time into. So I'm going to show you how I create an ad for one of these kind of keywords. Let's say we're working on the keyword Google Slap. I'm going to search for that in Google and I'm going to run exactly the same search in Yahoo. Before I do any of these searches, I make sure I'm not signed in. You have to sign out of Google and of Yahoo, otherwise they'll give you results tailored to your browsing habits. I take a look at the organic results here because they'll give me an idea of what the market wants to see. The organic results are obviously on the left side in Google and also in Yahoo. Let's take a look at the results and I want to show you uh, the thought uh, process that goes into it. The first result that we see here, what is a Google slap? You can kind of tell that that article is a definition. The second result, the Google slap affiliate marketers may stay in compliance with. We can already tell that some sort of news and technical information as well. Uh, Google slap, how to recover from a Google slap. Third result, sounds solutional. Google slap tips. Google slap, which technically is really the Google AdWords slap, really an adjustment made. Okay, so this looks like it's informational as well. Apple and Microsoft plot iPhone Google slap. I usually don't bother to click through, but my guess here is that this is completely unrelated. It sounds like about something yeah, it has nothing to do with Google Slap that I target in my marketing. Did Google Slap you? Are you an affiliate who uses Google AdWords to promote your affiliate program? Then this article is for you. So um, that sounds also like it's a solutional technical information type of thing. Uh, Google Slap or product review site sounds like it could be informational, technical. Google Slap or bad history. This is solution and uh, technical information. How to survive and rise above in this in this result here. That is a solution. How to avoid a Google Slap and this is prevention. I just jotted these down uh, already in a notepad before and I'll uh, show them to you in a second. Let's go ahead to the Yahoo results now. On the Yahoo results page, um, there may not be the same number of, uh, of ads, but uh, let's go through and see. What is a Google Slap? Definition again. How to survive the Google Slap? Uh, solution. YouTube Google Slap sounds solutional as well. Recover from a Google Slap. Solution. Technical information uh, on this next one here. What the new Google Slap means for you affiliate uh, advertisers, I'm guessing. Um, did Google slap you? This is a solution or technical information. Google slapper, review Google slapper, this is solutional. Um, those ads are a good thing, but advertisers aren't. Something disgruntled advertisers have dubbed the move Google slap. That sounds um, probably technical, also news. Slap Google um, and grab $374 sounds like a solution based result. Google slapping entire marketing industry is also news. So I've taken down these notes and I put them into a notepad file, which I've been cheating off as I went through. Um, that's how I was able to do it so quickly. So here's my notepad file and this is the list of results for Google and this one here is the list of results for Yahoo. What I want to do now is uh, to go through and sort of get a rough idea of what is the most prominent theme that we're seeing over here. So I'm going to write every unique item I have. So we have definition. We have, let's say, technical information. We have news as well. We have solution. We have completely unrelated, so we don't really care about that. If we have too many completely unrelated, by the way, we don't want to advertise there. Technical information, we have that already. Solution um, slash technical information, we have both of those already. We have solution, and oh, we don't have prevention. So now I just go through and count how many of each I have. How many definitions do I have? I have one. Well, there's only one. Okay, cool. So. One. Technical information. How many technical information do we have? One, two, three, four, five. Uh, five there. Okay. So five technical information. There's news once here. And that's it. It's just one news. Solution. How many solutions do we have? One, two, three, four. It sounds like it's four solution based ones. And then preventional is only one. All right, cool. So that's the chart of results that I want to remember when coming up with an ad. Let me just block this off so that we can remember it in a second when we come back to it. I'm going to label this Google. 
Okay. So there we go. This is our Google table. And then I'm going to go down to the Yahoo one and do the exact same thing. So we got definition, we have solution, we have technical information, we have solution, technical information, solution, technical information, solution, news. Okay, so these are the primary themes that we've got for Yahoo, which I'll also tabulate off. Okay, just got to count them up now. All right, how many definition ones do we have? There's one solution. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six solution-based ones. Um, technical information, there is one, two, three, right? There's three technical information ones. And then finally, news. We've only got one news item. Okay, how do we write an ad that would do well in this market in terms of its relevance and how well people receive your stuff? Okay, so here we are. We want to come up with an, uh, with an ad for Google that should not be the same as Yahoo because both of them are creating relevance in a different way. It doesn't make sense to send everybody to the same ad when we know fully well that the audience on Yahoo responds to different things than what they do on Google, right? Okay, so here we go. I can basically take off anything that has had a single occurrence. I can remove it because it's not really a representative of a theme that is necessarily a good one to have on that page. So what we're left with, as soon as we take off the ones, is these two, which I'm going to move up to the top so you can see them, technical information and solution. Now, technical information and solution, five and four, they're not too far off. If you can, create an ad around the most popular theme because Google's told us in its organic results that this seems to be what most people are interested in. I mean, that's what they're trying to do. That's what's making them successful is that they're creating their relevance. So I'm going to take the technical information angle just to demonstrate how I would do this. And uh, if you're interested in seeing what I normally do, I'll usually type one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, zero, one, two, three, four, five that is 35 single digits and the reason I do that is because that's the length of a typical AdWords ad here's an ad I wrote because of uh, the technical information angle that you see here so did you get slapped how to tell if you've been slapped and what you can do about it and then it's got the display URL and it goes to a relevant page technical information guy not really sure what the slap is uh, suspects maybe they've been slapped and if they haven't been slapped they want to know how to prevent it most likely so that's why I wrote an ad like this now here's what we do with the Yahoo one and the Yahoo one I've already X'd off the the ones because definition and news they're not really prominent themes on there it came down to technical information and solution and the solution had six it would be a stupid idea to go after the technical information angle here and not the solution solution angle. We go away and we write an ad like this. This is what I wrote. Google Slap Solution. Download free landing page template and get back on AdWords. This address is live right now. The Google Slap Solution landing page template. I haven't actually put it up yet, but if you keep an eye out, I will be putting it there soon and you'll be able to use it. Just the FYI. Okay, so I really hope that you uh, enjoyed the video. If you want to get more tips like these, I highly recommend that you get on my mailing list at jimmyagi.com. We have lots of cool training coming out addressing specifically quality score and slaps and things like that. So make sure that you get subscribed and keep an eye out for any of those things coming out soon. See you later.